back everybody. So today we're going to try Black Cherry Gelato from 450 North, a brewing company. This is a slushy XL. Um, it's got the le marijuana leaves on there. And I think this is a new series. And I think I just did one, but I don't remember what that means. But I don't know if this is just because they're brewing at around 420 or they brewed it around 420, those are there. Uh, but yeah, they're there on this. So Slushy XL, like I said, smoothie style sour ale with sweet cherry, black cherry, and cherry gelato. Uh, no date on this. I did pay $6.69 for this, uh, which I'll, I'll still say, I, I said at the very beginning when these were 10 bucks a piece when they first started coming to Michigan, I wasn't going to buy all of them. I still don't buy all of them, but I have been picking up more. Again, the can art is good, and I want to try them. Um, I did pass on like three or four of them uh, the other day when we were in Megabev because some of those were $9 a piece. Uh, so I don't know if those were... Uh, the sl the double XLs or what they were, but I was like, there I'm I'm not spending ten dollars on these now. Um, heads dying down. It's typical with these beers. Color, dark purple, dark red. It actually tastes like cherries, uh, from what I had. But yeah, there you go, dark red. Um, it looks the part. I'm surprised. And again, I think they're going, obviously, for what the thing shows, almost like an ice cream. But I was thinking, like, why wouldn't they put, like, cherry chip cake in there or something? They've done birthday cake, something like that, but that's just me. Let's go ahead and smell. Wow. Big time sweet cherry, a little tartness in there. It almost smells like... It's too much. Like, it's artificial or naturally flavored. As far as I know, it's conditioned on all these. There's nothing fake in here. I'm guessing 5.3 since I never said that. Yeah, 5.3. They're all somehow 5.3. Uh, again, I'm not a professional brewer, but I don't know how these all these beers can be 5.3%. Uh, different fruits different ice cream, different cake, and they're still 5.3, but that's what it says. It's better than what it used to be. But almost uh what lifesaver, like a black cherry lifesaver really really strong. That's all you, I smell. So if you're a cherry person, this could be the one for you. Let's go ahead and taste. Wow, that cherry is intense. Like the Luden's cherry cough drops that as a kid, I would just keep on eating. There you go. Um, sweet, dark cherry up front. That cherry goes all the way through. Uh, it kind of lightens up into more of a tart cherry in the back. Wow. That's a lot of cherry. Wow. Um, like the, it, it almost tastes artificial. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and say it's not. That it is conditioned on all this stuff. Like it stays around. It, it's like a Loon's cough drop. And like a black cherry lifesaver. Like sweet, but not overly sweet, but you're still getting all that flavor. I almost think this is overdone. That's a little thicker. I was going to say, the body seems like it's a little thin. But pouring the rest in there, I think, has helped.
who like cough syrup, almost cough syrup cherry, NyQuil. That cherry flavor, there you go. Um, I like cherries summertime. We eat them all the time. I think it's overdone. Just It needed something else. And I'm not saying that um, cake would have done it, but yeah. Uh, four out of five. Let's go ahead and check untapped. None of my friends have had it. 3.93 out of five. Uh, let's just see if anybody said anything. Amazing. Um, and that is about it. Don't trust ABV. Um, but yeah, so if you're into beers like this, definitely want to pick them. Try if you enjoyed this review. Check some more out over here. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. And until next time, cheers.